Good morning. My name is Alexandra Casemprago, Ms. Perú. I have 25 years old. I am a businesswoman and thank you for, for this opportunity. Thank you. Um, uno de mis mayores sueños siempre fue representar a mi país en un concurso internacional. One of my biggest dreams is always happy to represent my country in an international contest. Y el MISER es un concurso que para mí tiene un trasfondo que siempre he realizado en mi vida, que es el cuidado del medio ambiente. MISER es un MISER para mí porque es algo que representa el cuidado del medio ambiente. Y el estar aquí ahora me permite poder comunicar los problemas ambientales que tiene mi país y las grandes eh, biodiversidades y cosas que tiene para ofrecer al mundo. By me being here, I have the chance now to speak about the big problems and challenges that my country has regarding the environment, but also talking about the incredible biodiversity that we share there. Mi advocacy is, you must be the change you want to see in the world. Say el cambio que quieres ver en el mundo. Be the change you want to be, in the, what you want to see in the world. Y por eso es que creo que el cambio empieza por uno mismo y con las pequeñas acciones que realiza día a día para ver un cambio en el planeta. Changes are by you, by your small changes that you do every day and the impact you can create. Thank you so much. Hello, Ms. Peru. Hello. When you go back home, what will you tell your friends, your family, and, and Peru, what will you tell them, them about the Philippines? Okay, well. Feliz. Estoy muy feliz de haber conocido este país tan hermoso, lleno de gente tan linda y con unos paisajes tan hermosos. I'm going to say that. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to say that I'm very happy and um, I'm cultivated. Hello. Hello. I'm cultivated. <laughs> bye. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, I'm cultivated by the beauty of this country, by the friendly people, and the amazing um, environment you have here. Pero no solo lo que uno puede ver físicamente, sino también el, el, la logística que tiene la organización ISER. It's not only what you can see by your eyes, but it's also the logistics that this organization has here. La preocupación que tienen las personas acerca del medio ambiente y lo que yo he podido observar también en distintas municipalidades acerca de cómo tratan los problemas medioambientales. How much people here, municipalities here, cares about the environment in Philippines. You mentioned that your advocacy is need a change in order to in the world. I'd like to um, find out though, as a Miss Earth ambassador, what do you think can you do to increase awareness on environmental issues that we have currently? I said that you have said that what you have said is that you want to do is to work on making the change of people. What is it that you can do as an ambassador of the environment? I'm very worried and working for the environment since I'm very and I'm trying to share my energy and my passion about this with people from recycling bottles or paper and for a small thing that can be. Y hace unos meses soy embajadora de una marca de sorbetes orgánicos llamada Airu. I am a few months ago I started being the ambassador of a brand of um, store, organic store called Ayo is the name of this, organic store. La cual se realiza con plantas que crecen en las zonas altas del Perú. This is done with plants that grow in the highlands in the world. Y no solo ayuda al medio ambiente, sino también a zonas y a personas pobres. So this not only helps environment, but also provides work to people from that highlands because they are not very poor. Enseñando a trabajar este producto y bueno, es amigable con, con el medio ambiente so y el mar. We teach them how to work with this product and it's also environment friendly and helps the oceans at the same time. Adicionalmente, tengo un proyecto en Perú con escuelas y niños. Adicional to that, I have a project in Perú with schools and kids. Para que desde pequeños entiendan que el, el cuidado de la madre tierra es importante. So from an early age, they can understand 
that taking care of Mother Earth is very important. Llevando programas donde se concienticen sobre el cuidado del medio ambiente. So we gave programs that uh, talks about taking care of the environment. Involucrándolos en la limpieza del mar y del planeta. And involving them on taking care of cleaning of the oceans and flood in general. Oh, great. Okay. Miss Peru, if you win in this pageant and your boyfriend suddenly proposes marriage, would you give up the crown? <laughs> Dice de que si ganas el concurso y tu novio te propone matrimonio, ¿dejaría la corona o no? Yo tengo muy claro lo que quiero en la vida y las metas que tengo. I have very clear my goals in life. Claro que casarme es una de ellas, pero todavía no porque soy muy joven. Getting married is one of them, but not right now because I'm very young. Siento que tengo 25 años para casarme y soy muy joven para ello. I want to be 25 years old and I'm too young for that. Así que hay momento para todo en la vida. There's a moment for everyone in life. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ms. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, okay. Ms. How tall are you? Uh, one meter by three. That's insane. Six, 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 one, six, one. Wow. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want uh, to say that I'm really happy to be here today. And sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. So my name is Elisa Manona and I represent the beautiful country of Belarus. Uh, I'm an ex-professional volleyball player uh, and now I have a degree in advocacy uh, in and public relations. And now I'm working as an SMM specialist as a freelancer. So my focus is that everybody should help our planet and do some actions to protect the environment. Thank you. Good morning, Ms. Belarus. All right. How many trees have you planted so far? <laughs> it's okay if you lost count. Yes, I really lost, <laughs> but uh, I think more than 10 for this year, from uh, May to spring, more than 10. Yes, okay. with really good experience. What is your message to the people who are planting trees? But sometimes you don't forget to take care of the trees, and taking care of the trees is very important as well. Uh, so maybe my message uh, will be that uh, guys, first think not about yourself, but about the next generations and about your children, because they will live in that world and in that environment that you are creating now. So it it is really important nowadays to think about it. So plant the trees, please. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Belarus, uh, obviously all of you are pretty, but uh, my question is, uh, were you ever in an opportunity or a was there ever a time when you uh, consider beauty as a liability or a disadvantage? Uh, you know, uh, my story is a story about uh, ugly duck. <laughs> because ugly duck. when I was a teenager, yes, I wasn't so pretty. You know, I'm very tall, and uh, sometimes I haven't, at that time, I haven't so you know, some woman's form. And I was like, I had an ugly man. I had, yes, like I always use ponytail and I wasn't pretty. I became pretty only maybe when I was 15 or 16, but before this, I had really big problems uh, uh, with the relationship with, my, with myself. So now uh, I'm really happy that I became a swan. So, yes, <laughs> like, no, it's a story about the Nanky yeah, Dark. So, yes, it's why, yes, uh, I became a, a self confident woman. First of all, and I'm really happy that uh, now I'm here. It's one of the biggest patients in the world, and I represent my country. So I think uh, that I hope that I will do it with dignity. Thank you so much for the question. All right. Yes, Ms. Belarus, what do you think of young women undergoing uh, surgery to improve their looks? before they join beauty contests? Uh, you know, um, uh, sh sugar, plastic sugar, it's really good when you have a real problem. So I really uh, appreciate that nowadays we have such a lot of opportunities to change something, to help uh, people to be more comfortable, uh, not comfortable, confident. confident, confident, yes, thank you so much. Uh, but I think that you, if you are pretty, if you are already pretty, if you have natural beauty, you don't need it. You can you can show everyone that natural beauty 
it's uh, really important nowadays because a lot of plastic sugar is uh, uh, a lot of girls make uh, the plastic sugar is uh, when they don't need it. So I think it's good that we have such opportunity. But if you don't need it, why? Thank you. Um, Alisa, I'd just like to find out, uh, because uh, you are a professional volleyball player in your country, and you are now in a beauty pageant. I'd like to find out how are you able to transition, and why beauty pageants? Why this platform? Uh, okay, so, um, you know, now I'm playing just like a hobby, because uh, I had, you know, some problems with my back when I was 18, because I was playing in a professional sport club. Uh, it was a very really young age uh, for having some problems with the health and you know I thought a lot about this and you know um, I think that uh, it's not more for me uh, to do some sports because I prefer to be a lady. I prefer to speak uh, with um, to promote my ideas so uh, in the sport club I can't do this. I can't uh, promote uh, my uh, advocacy. I can't promote uh, any important things. So I think that uh, it's really good that I change it. I change the platform of sport, and now I'm playing. I'm playing just for sports, just like a hobby, and uh, I really appreciate that uh, now I'm here, and now I have an opportunity to represent my country not in the sport platform, but in the beauty page. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Belarus.